of our lives. You are. Uh, Wait a sec, where are you? Do you, do you think you're going? I have to take my car into the shop before I go to work. Today. Well, your car, dear. Yes. Your car can wait. I, on the other hand, cannot. You're a terrible influence, Bill Brady. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. You're right, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you what? see? I can't take my car into the shop before work. Oh, oh, oh I tell you, I, but, hey, if it's that bad, I, moi, will drive you into work. No, it's not that bad. But it does need a tune-up or something. Well, right, well, make your deal. What? Tomorrow, since it is my day off, I will take your car to the shop. You are such a good person. Wait a second, you just said I was a bad person. Now you gotta make up your mind here. Yeah. You're a bad influence uh -oh. in a very good way. I drained most of the brake fluid. have been in touch with us. Get her in room two. Excuse me? Um, could I use this phone? I don't have any change. Uh, I need to... Yes, yes, of course. Billy? Yeah? Were you the one that pulled Carly from the car? Yeah, but she, she said she was okay. She said it was just her leg. Um, but she, she's unconscious right now, and... Go with you? No, no, he's off duty. He's at the Alamance. There's a party there. Carly was supposed to meet him. I should have call him. No, wait, I'll call him. Why don't you go see if they'll tell you something about Carly? Thanks. Hello. Hello. Is Bo Brady there, please? Yes, he is. Who's calling? Billy Reed. I, I need to talk to him. Is something wrong? Carly Manning was in a car accident. What? Is she all right? 
I don't know. She's unconscious, and um, the doctors, they're with her now. And, and I think Bo should be here. Of course, I'll tell him. Is that Carly? No, it was about Carly. She was in a car accident. What? Is she okay? Uh, I didn't get much information, but they took her to the trauma center. She was unconscious. Nikki, I've got to go to the hospital. Nurse, where's Dr. Manning? Right over there. You can't go in and see. Oh, boy. Hey. Hi. Uh, are you okay? I broke my leg. That's it? She's a very lucky lady. Tell you what, I'm going to give you two a couple of minutes, and then I'll bring the team back into work, okay? Thanks, Hank. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I'm okay. I really am. Oh, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong when you weren't at Lawrence's house. I had this terrible feeling. Oh, God. I guess it's because I'm afraid I'm going to lose you. Oh, you're never going to lose me. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So is it painful? Then it gave me something for the pain. <laughs> well, what happened? I brakes went out on the car. I just lost control. I just kept gaining speed and... I don't know. I, I think I had a tree or something. Oh, God. And Hank was right about my being lucky. Billy Reed was behind me. She saw the car go off the road. She came. She dragged me out of there before that thing exploded. Oh, thank God. You're all right. Carolina, oh. are you all right? Get your hands off me, Brady. Larry, you are not wanted here, nor are you needed here. Well, may I remind you that Carly is the mother of my son, and Nikki will be very upset by her accident. He'll have a hundred questions. Fine. Tell Nikki that I will call him later and give him a report. Now beat it. You don't give me orders. You might be able to throw your weight around the station house, but you do not tell me what to do. Look, Brady. Take hey, you guys. Time. Take it outside. You want to fight? Take it outside. Larry was just leaving, right, Lair? One of these days, I am going to knock that arrogant smile of yours right down your throat. Bo? Hey. He's a low life. Don't stoop to his level. No, you're right. How's Carly doing? Car Carly, she's, she's okay. She's, yeah, she's okay. Good. I'm really glad you're here. Yeah, well, mm. it's because of me that you are here. <laughs> what? Your car. Remember this morning you wanted to take your car to the shop, except I had other things on my oh, mind. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. And if I hadn't had those other things on my mind, you would have been able to take oh, your car no, to the bro, shop, and no. this wouldn't have happened. No, it wasn't the brakes I wanted to have checked. Mm. I'm so glad you're okay. are going to set your leg and everything's going to be wonderful. Is she still unconscious? She's under some heavy pain medication. Oh, dear, that, that sounds very serious. <sighs> Just tell Nikki that she's going to be fine, okay? She doesn't want him worrying about her. Well, I guess she's just protecting him. Just 
tell him, Vivian. <sighs> Happy St. Patty's Day. Hi. <laughs> They're beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, well, I thought she could use a, a tiny bit of Irish cheer. You're also very lucky that you weren't injured more seriously than you really were. Much as I would like having you home with me, I think you should stay here until you're ready to leave. And I think that Hank should be the judge of that, well, not I, you. I'm perfectly capable of judging my own condition. Uh, Besides, I hate sleeping alone. Really? Yes. So do I. You know, even though I can't marry you right now, there are a few things that I can do mm -hmm. that I'm ready, willing, and able to do right now. What, here? Unless you're not in the mood. I didn't say that. What if somebody walks in? They're not going to walk in with a quarantine sign on the door. Carly, I did not see any quarantine sign on the door. You're a minx, you know? <laughs> Stay right here. You're right. But I am gonna stay until you go to sleep. Well, so. you're gonna be here a while because I'm gonna be wide awake. Find my me. Find my me. Was watching TV. I watch TV. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? Hi. I'm good. I've been trying to call the boat for two hours. I got kept getting the answering machine. Yeah, I haven't been there. Well, yeah, I know. You haven't been at the station either. Where are you? Um, can I tell you uh, when I see you? It shouldn't be that long. Sure. Sure, because I have to tell you something, too. Yeah? Good news? Like, uh, when are you getting out of there? I'll tell you when you get here, okay? All right. It shouldn't be... It shouldn't be any longer than 15, 20 minutes. All right. Bye. 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 Yo, beautiful. Oh, yo, Mr. Duda. Mm, how you feeling? Better? I feel better. Mm, better? Good. I missed you. I missed you, too. Yeah. So about half this stuff makes sense to me. I guess you feel better now, huh? Well, I'd feel better if you could have this arthroscopic surgery here in Salem. You know what? The specialist is in Cleveland, and he was really nice to fit me into his OR schedule. Do you trust this guy? Yeah, he's written a lot of papers. He's developed new procedures. I, I met him once at a medical conference. That's nice guy. And do you really want him to do the surgery? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'll go to Cleveland with you. Let well, go, wait, wait, no. Vacation. Come on, you're not going to use your vacation days to go to Cleveland. Carly, Cleveland's a wonderful city, okay? I've been there before. I've been there before. Save your vacation for a honeymoon. Do you really think I'm going to be alert if I'm worrying about you? You really don't have to worry. Really. It's a very simple procedure. There's no risk. You did read the article, right? Yeah, but it's surgery, and when it's surgery, there's always Thank a risk. You, Dr. Brady. Well, can I help it if I love you? I'm glad you love me. I'm really glad you love me, but there's really no need for you to go. There's nothing to worry about. Look, I'll, I'll call you, okay? And I'll be right back. All right? All right. Dr. Manning, uh, it's time to go. Uh, five minutes, five minutes. And you promise you're going to call me? I promise you. Okay. You promise not to worry? No. All right. I love you. I love you, too. Very much. I'll call you when I get settled in the hospital. 